Hello and welcome to Underwise. My name is Soham and in this video we are going to talk about the new Titan form of Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan manga chapter 138. But before that if you are new here then please consider subscribing to our channel since I do weekly anime and manga related content along with Attack on Titan reviews. With that being said, let's begin the video. Now this is honestly a very peculiar thing and from the moment we got the spoilers and leaks for this particular chapter everyone was visibly confused as to what exactly is going on here since this thing looks like an amalgamation of a couple of different things and I think I can break it down for you all here Yes it certainly looks like a new form of titan but I don't really think that is exactly the case here rather I think that this is an amalgamation of the various different titan powers Now it all dates back to the founding titan the original founding titan of Ymir Fritz and here we have to remember that this titan is also called the progenitor titan basically from this particular titan the nine different titan powers were derived and as a result this is the progenitor of every titan that is currently alive as such now that Eren Yeager had this power in his possession and also the abilities of the royal blood it is kind of justifiable for him to gain this particular form Now in my opinion this is an amalgamation of two different things and that is the founding titan and the colossal titan. Now the main thing here is obviously the founding titan. The face is exactly similar to Eren's founding titan face which he had in his bone like structure but the rest of the body is totally different and it is unlike anything that we have seen from any of the past founding titans. Sure it is huge but it is strikingly similar to the colossal titan or rather the colossus because that is its name in the manga. As such I definitely think that this is an amalgamation of the Colossus and the founding Titan powers and now that I think about it I feel like this is a missed opportunity and because Eren had the powers of the Warhammer Titan the Attack Titan as well as the founding Titan he should have probably used some sort of an amalgamation form prior to this particular chapter it would have been so cool to see a combination between the Attack Titan and the Warhammer Titan And now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if the anime will do some anime only moments just like the Berserker Titan from season 1. I don't know, I'm just giving a thought about it. But there you have it. For those of you who were asking me, I think that this is an amalgamation of the two different Titan powers, and this is quite logical and this is quite justifiable because yes, Eren has the powers of the founding Titan which is the progenitor of all the Titans, so it's quite natural that a progenitor will have the original powers of the nine Titans. So it's not something out of the box or not something like a duo sex machina. If anything I wish that it was implemented more in the story around chapters 130 or so. And lastly I think that this is a very cool looking design and like I said in my initial thoughts this looks creepy but it is hauntingly beautiful at the very same time. The long hair of Eren also adds a very striking touch something that we have not seen prior to all of this. because the colossus is mostly bald all the time even in the ancient titans that we have seen in the past all of them were bald none of them actually had hairs so i think that this is definitely an amalgamation power of the founding titan as well as the colossus titan so there you have it this is the new titan form new colossus founding titan form of eren and i hope that this video will help you to understand this particular thing so that's it for this quick update video thank you so much for watching please mention your thoughts in the comment section below So that's it for today guys this is Wonderwise and I'll see you soon in the next one